Hi, I'm Ryan Crosby, Senior Education and Technology Specialist here at Ride Designs. I'm going to show you how to pre-shape a cushion bag. This is probably going to work for about 80% of the people you see. There's going to be those exceptions where we have to tweak a little bit, but this is for the majority of people. Um, the key is you want to pre-shape this cushion bag. Spend the extra time in the beginning to, sh to, to shape this bag. Um, your cushion height is directly related to the thickness of this base plus the thickness of the bag on top. So if you start with a bunch of beads towards the front, your whole cushion height is going to be pretty tall. Um, so what I'm going to do first is pull this bag so where it's an inch forward of the base. Just one about an inch forward. If you have those super tall guys, say six foot two or greater, guys and gals, I should say, then you might want to pull this out a little bit further. But for, for most people, about an inch in front and thin that bag out. You want to kind of just spread those beads out. If I knew I was going to need lateral thigh supports, I'd push most of the beads out to the side. And if it was that I need more of a medial support, I might push the extra beads towards the middle. For now, I'm going to sweep them out to the sides. And I'm going to pin down the front. You want to pin down this front uh, so it doesn't slide back. And now the next step is that you want to move your hand over the top of this pelvic well. Just shimmy this back and forth until you feel the bottom of this shape capture base. My hand is right on the bottom. And now once I have that pinned down, I can let go with the front. I don't need to pin that down anymore. I can hold that down with in my hand in the well. And I'm going to go to our sweet spot, which is where I can move the beads around, but they're going to behave. They're going to stay put. And that just takes a second to get to that, that uh, vacuum. Okay, and while, once that starts to hold, I can let go with my hand in the pelvic well and continue my pre-shape process. I want to move out the excess beads a little bit more to the side. I don't want to force them into adduction or abduction by the, having extra beads. So just kind of spread those out. And if I wanted to put in lateral thigh supports, I might just go ahead and roll those in. So anytime you, you move the bag, you want to lift and roll out. It's not a lift up kind of motion. You don't want to lift because that's going to create a crease along the, the lateral thigh. So I actually just want to push out lift and roll to get that contour. And if you didn't want any thigh supports, don't capture them in this system. Don't build them in. Flatten that out in the front and capture it as close to what you want as possible. All right, now let's make sure all the beads are still out of my well. Sweep out a little bit at the trochanters and we are good to go. That is the pre-shape and I'm going to lock it down. I still have a very thin front, so I can, uh, I'm not going to end up with a super tall cushion. All right. Now I'm going to call over my um, client, who happens to be Jeremy Hansen, my partner in crime. He's going to sit down. We're going to capture a shape real quick. The key to this is the first thing we need to look at. This is not a comfortable thing to be sitting on. I don't want to leave him sit here for very long. So I want to make sure his trochanters are lined up with the trochanter relief in the base. Okay, and we, we are right over that relief, so that ensures that we're not sitting him too far back or too far forward on the base. And also make sure you've got your feet supported. We don't want to have um, his legs dangling. Always want to support the feet because if your legs are, your knees are hanging down below your pelvis, it's going to lift up that pelvis and change that pelvic orientation. So I want to get the feet supported. I'm going to block his knees and let all the air back in the bag. He's just going to kind of sink right down in there. All right, now with the bag completely loose, I'm going to kind of get right up against his knees so he doesn't continue to slide. And I'm going to grab on right at his pelvis, right at his hips. And if you've got pants, uh, they've got pants like jeans, you can grab on right at the jeans and do your sweep. Otherwise, if they have like a no pants on or a skirt or something, you might have to cup your hand 
underneath the greater trochanter to be able to sweep this. But this is not a push down. This is a lift up and sweep the pelvis. So here we go. Two, three, just a couple, two or three times in each direction. And now is the time where you palpate to determine if you've, if you've uh, achieved what your goal is. Are you accommodating an obliquity? Or are you correcting an obliquity? Um, whatever you've predetermined on your mat eval, now's the time where you check that. He's still a little low on the left, so I'm just gonna give him a little hitch up on the left, double check, and we're good. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and put a little vacuum back, back to that sweet spot I was referring to. And then just continue shaping my lateral supports, pushing in at the hips. If I needed a little bit of medial, I can lift up a little bit and then just lock it down all the way. Okay, and the last things we need to do, we need to mark the apex of his greater trochanters on the bag, and I can use my knuckle to sort of push in and indent, or you can take a marker and draw the little hash mark on the outside. But you wanna mark both sides, and then go back afterwards and mark it with a marker. One way or the other, we need to know where those trochanters are in that shape. Next thing you need to do, measure from the front of the base forward to determine if you need to add length to the cushion. It's always relative to the shape capture base and not the, the bag itself. Measure from the base forward. And then the other thing you wanna make sure to do, measure your targeted cushion height. And that is from the bottom of the base to the lowest point of the thigh trough. And then on the order form, there's a spot to fill in the targeted height. And that's important. Give us that information. That'll give you an expectation of the height of your cushion that you're going to get and also give us a goal to try to meet. And that is how you capture a cushion shape for most, most of the people out there. If you have any further questions, you can certainly reach out to us here at Ride Designs. Thanks a lot and have a great day.